Hi, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Cedric Gagel. I'm an actor, a filmmaker, a screenwriter, and a YouTube reactor, and I don't know why I have these headphones in already. We're not starting the video yet. We are back with more and more set. Uh, I was told to react to Never Enough from The Greatest Showman, and somebody on Instagram told me to do the Wish Bus version. So here we are. I don't know what the Wish Bus is. I guess it's a radio station. They explained it to me very well, but I can't remember right now. So thank you for doing that. And uh, here we go. Morissette, super impressive. So far I've heard, um, she used to be mine from Waitress and Defying Gravity from Wicked, two big songs. This is also a big song. So let's continue that that um, musical theater style, even though this isn't technically musical theater because it's just a movie so far, not on stage. I'm sure that'll happen though. With, with a tough song, with a big song. And I'm excited to hear her approach to it uh, as always with her because she's just, like so cool vocally. She's, she's got such a classic kind of pop sound, but with that musical theater influence, and I just, I feel like she has such a passion for it that shines through her voice. And it's, it's just so easy to love that. Like it's so easy to listen to and so easy to enjoy that. And it makes it so fun for me to kind of break it down and analyze it because when someone loves what they're doing that much, um, you're kind of forced to love it in return. And I think that's great. Before we jump in, thank you, of course, to my patrons on Patreon for your support. Thank you for making it possible for me to do this and and uh, write my scripts and everything. You know the drill. And I appreciate, um, I, I know I say this every video and I don't want it to become rote because like I really, really, really appreciate you keeping this channel alive and, um, you know, supplementing my, my work and my passion and what I've been working on doing my whole life. And very grateful grateful to uh, I'm very grateful to get to do that and um and and your support makes that possible. So thank you so much for that. I got nothing else. Let's jump in. This is Morissette, never enough. strings. She's sitting. That's interesting. That can be vocally tough. I'm trying to hold my breath. Wish. 107.5. Let it stay this way. Can't let this moment end. So far, this is already so Sorry, I paused it so early, but this is already more musical theater than pop than I've ever heard. But when she goes, let it stay this way. For her, that's low. Let it stay this way. Like that's, it's, it'd be too low if I tried to take it down. But the way that she solves that is by going, way. But she adds some nice gravity to it and she pushes up through the nose, way. Let it stay this way. But just like little things like that, that keep keep the warmth in her voice already, that is technically fantastic. Because I know where this song goes and the range of it is what makes it so difficult. And uh, I, I can't wait, because already that's so good. I'm so sorry for pausing 35 seconds in. Let's keep going. Can't let this moment end. You set off a tree. Nice. Getting loud now. Can you hear it echoing? Take my hand. Mm. Will you share this with me? Cause darling, without you, all the shine of a thousand spots. Nice. Stars we steal from the night sky will never be enough. Oh, never be enough. Towers of gold are still too little. These hands could hold the world, and it'll never be enough. Never be enough for me. Nice. 
Yes, there it is. Gosh, it's so hard to find a <laughs> time to pause when she's singing because it's so good. I, ah, uh, um, yeah, uh, I'm not even on camera right now. I just need a moment to think. <sighs> so uh, taking the never, never. Did you notice how she was going never? She's adding the R a little bit. Never, never. But on the first one, never, never. But on the second one, it goes full, uh. And then when she goes, uh, never enough, never enough. She's breaking into that nice head voice, but enough, enough. That's her vocal approach. And then when she's getting really high there, the for me. So she's going for me, not for me, <laughs> right? It's for me. And then when she goes really high, for me, 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 M E H, because of how high that goes, where she has to place it, she's gonna mix it that way. And she pushes really, really nicely through and gets this really nice crack going into the next verse, which I wanna hear again because I thought it was. So, so gorgeous. Like, uh, it's just, I, I, I'm wearing long sleeves so you can't tell, but I have chills. I have chills. This is her most impressive song to me already, just because I almost feel like she's underplaying it vocal. Like it, it feels less impressive than it is what she's doing, but she's, she's definitely owning it. Well, also like, in the previous two, I felt like, oh, she's kind of adding this little thing, kind of making it different, but like she's straight up like following the original, but still making it her own just by sitting in her own voice because she's not acting this out. She's not in character. This isn't on stage. She's just singing it. And so in this, just by the quality of her own voice and bringing her own experience to it vocally without making any huge changes, she's made it her own already. I want to hear this, this voice crack again because it was beautiful, beautifully done. Just a quick note because I think the lyrics are brilliant here, but in Shakespeare we often talk about how to how to find the alliteration in the note, and she goes, All the stars we steal from the night sky. All the stars is my battery getting low? Oh it is. I gotta charge this. Hang on. Hang on. I gotta charge my laptop. Or it'll get mad at me. And we simply can't have that. <laughs> All the stars we steal from the night sky. Right? There's this um, in, in the hollow crown, in, uh, in Richard III, when he says, But within the hollow crown which rounds the mortal temples of a king. For within the hollow crown that rounds the mortal temples of a king keeps death his court, and there the antic sits, scoffing his state and grinning at his pomp. It's the same idea of finding those similar sounds. All the stars we steal from the night sky. So she connects those sounds, right? All the, shi all the shine of a thousand spotlights. All the stars we steal from the night sky. So you have the idea of stars we steal from the night sky. So you have the eye and night, the eye and sky. Stars steal sky will never be enough. 
So now we don't have those sounds anymore, but because she connects all those ideas and those sounds, the punchiness of never be enough really lands. And that's the work of a vocalist and of an actor is finding those ways to really lean into the sounds of the language. When you're given language like this, play with it, lean into it. And she's doing such good work with that. Hear it? Hans. Sorry, we gotta go back because I know that's gonna be a big ending, but look when she takes her breaths here because she doesn't have a lot of time and it's a big, big sound to make. Watch her shoulders when she takes a breath in. You see how I'm taking these breaths but you're not seeing my shoulders move? That's because I'm breathing from my diaphragm because as a vocalist and as a performer, that's where the healthiest place to breathe from is versus going, you can, you can fill your lungs that way, but you're gonna get a more full breath if you if you breathe from your diaphragm You can suck in a lot of air that way, but you're gonna push out from here. So watch the way that her shoulders don't move when she's taking these breaths, because she's pushing from her diaphragm, which is why she can push so hard and make such a big sound with such an open approach to it vocally, because she's utilizing her diaphragm perfectly. Never be See that? On Wish 107.5. I really hate how she just acted casual after that, like it just ended. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what? <laughs> uh, I, I'm so impressed by her. Like, her voice is so... So here's the thing that perplexes me with her. Is I, I don't... I can't cleanly identify what about her voice I find so compelling other than just like her clear love for the art. And like, obviously it's technically very sound. Her approach is incredible. She's got an incredible natural talent and natural talent is nothing without hard work, which she's clearly put in. But I mean, you can work really hard on something and not love it. And just like, this is what she's meant to do. And it, is so obvious that she just loves doing it and wants to be good at it. And so she is, she's made herself so. And um, that's always gonna be compelling. So uh, that was in fact enough. I've seen enough. She is very, very good. <laughs> and um, What a way to just own it. Sitting in a bus, ridiculous. Thank you so much for watching. Morris said, if you're watching this, let's do something. Let's make a video together. Let's hang out. All right. Thanks for watching. Please drink lots of water. Please take care of yourselves. Get lots of sleep. Fix your postures. Remember to breathe from your diaphragm. And I'll see you next time. But until then, be well.